Welcome back. In this video, we are going to put clear glaze onto our pinch pots. In our last session, we took um, the time to make a really nice pattern and paint the pattern all the way around the pot so that we had a nice design and a nice pattern with the colors that repeat the, repeated itself all the way around our pinch pot. In this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to take something called clear glaze. It comes in one of the little glaze containers like this. It should say clear glaze on the top. It should get, say clear glaze on the side. Um, that's going to make a smooth, shiny finish on the inside and the outside. The only place we're not going to put the clear glaze is right down here on the bottom. If we do that, it'll stick and glue itself to the kiln shelf and I'll have to break it off with a hammer. So please don't put any clear glaze on the bottom of your pinch pot. Number one, you're going to unscrew the top, set it aside. If it needs to, you can stir it up with your brush. Make sure your brush is clean and when you wash it, there's no paint that comes out. And make sure that your pinch pot is totally dry. If the paint is wet at all, the paint will start to lift up and smear together. So when you do your um, clear glaze, what you want to do is you take your clear glaze and you're going to pat it on top like this. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three, and just pat the glaze on top. If you start taking it and smearing it back and forth and painting like it's you know like a regular painting or something the clear the under glaze the colored glaze will start lifting up and becoming it'll get like all blended and smeared together and it'll just be like a big brown goo when you're done so please do not rub your brushes back and forth pat your brushes what are you gonna do with your brushes that's right you're gonna pat the brushes pat the glaze on so that the glaze doesn't smear your colors together alright and notice how I'm doing it I'm letting the glaze soak in and you can barely see the color through it it should be this pinkish color okay when it gets fired in the kiln then it will change clear and only then so don't be afraid if it turns out pink and don't think that it's ruined and pink but do make sure you use the clear glaze there's another container in your bucket called rose it looks like this it says rose on the top and it says rose on the side it's this pinkish color it looks kinda like the clear glaze but it's different and it is actually pink so don't use the rose Make sure you use the one that says clear glaze. And if you have any questions at all, whether it's the right one, please ask. And I can just tell you by looking at it which one it is. Okay. Um, so go all the way around your pinch pot so you get the whole thing having a nice, thick, solid layer of clear glaze. And notice I am still just patting the clear glaze on patting the clear glaze on. Okay, now I'm going to set it down to the inside. For the inside, do the same thing. Pat it on. I got to do the rim first. Then I'll do the inside. And please try to make sure you it's thick. Okay, you want it to be nice and thick so that it's smooth. If you put it on too thickly, it starts to bubble and kind of crack. So you want it, there's it's kind of in, in between. You want it to be thick enough that it's smooth, but not so thick that it's going to crack and bubble up. Okay, and usually there's very few kids who have that trouble with it bubbling up. So just be careful, be thoughtful as you're working so that you've got it uh, looking like a nice layer. You don't want it too thick, don't want it too thin. Um, and again, if you have any questions while you're doing this, just ask me so I can come over and help you. And I can give you a little, a little feedback on whether it's too thick or too thin. Okay? So, there you go. You should have a nice clear glaze all the way around. And make sure that there's no clear glaze on the bottom. If there is clear glaze on the bottom, um, you can take a little paper towel and just wipe the bottom. Or you can show it to me and I can help you. Um, 
but remember you don't want any clear glaze on the bottom it should be rough like this so that when it's on the kiln shelf it doesn't get glued to the kiln shelf so when you're done put it back onto the cardboard that's at your table and make sure there's no clear glaze on the bottom raise your hand and I'll come over and double check it and make sure there's no clear glaze on the bottom okay and that's how you do clear glazing for your pinch pot when you're done clear glazing the last person to be done screw that top back on and put it back into your bucket and then really wash your brush out well so there's no clear glaze left on it okay if you need to you can use a paper towel and kind of wipe the brush off or wash it off at the sink okay and then put your brushes away so in the brush container so they're up in the bucket nicely with the bristles pointing up and clean up all of your other supplies. And that's how you clear glaze your pinch pot.